So, you got into nursing school, you worked really hard to get there. What are you going to do if you don't quite make it? Do you have a nursing school backup plan? I did. And I'll tell you what mine was. And I'll tell you why I picked that as a backup plan, just in case, for whatever reason, I didn't make it through nursing school. Uh, I was I was going to uh, transfer community colleges and do CMA, Certified Medical Assistant. I know even less of a male-oriented job, uh, but I didn't really care about that. I was more worried about having work, being able to feed my family. The reason being was most of my credits that I had for other things would have transferred over. Um, I needed the same prereqs that I need for nursing as a certified medical assistant. And if nursing, nursing school would have gone south for me, that's where I would have been. That's what I would have done. I still have to work. You know, I still got to provide for my family. Yeah, I would take that job. I sure would if I had to. Um, nursing school is hard. It is very hard. And had I done a little bit more research, I probably wouldn't have gone into nursing. Um, I picked nursing because it's what I knew existed. Um, had I known other things existed, like uh, probably a pharmacy technician, um, I knew I knew that there were pharmacy techs, but I didn't know, you know, the schooling you had to go to. Um, had I known what a pharmacy tech has to do, as far as education-wise, that would have probably been the pick that I would have chosen because it's easier to get than a nursing degree. Um, but with that being said, I became a nurse, and if it would have gone south, I would have gone into uh, certified medical assisting. You've got to have a backup plan. It is just too hard to say, oh, I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass. Um, I was in a class of about 30 people, and there were only like nine of us graduate. So that means that 21 people didn't make it. Um, that's probably not the exact number, but it was quite a few people didn't make it. Um, I, I know it was over half. Uh, did not make it through nursing school for whatever reason. Um, time constraints, work-related things, because I was in a community college, so most of us were older. Uh, most of us were working adults. It's hard, man. It, it, and you gotta, you've gotta stay after it in nursing. You've gotta, you know, sometimes you have weekend clinicals. Some people couldn't make a weekend clinicals. Well, if you can't make this weekend clinical, you know, pack your bags, you're out. Uh, there were, you know, instances where that, that sort of thing happened. And if it would have gotten me, if I would have been axed out of the program, I would have gone into uh, medical assisting. Um, like I said, I did think about the pharmacy tech after, um, after I realized what you had to do to be a pharmacy tech. Uh, but I would have chose certified medical assisting over the pharmacy tech only because the classes, uh, the prereqs, at least in my area, were the same. Um, not only that, but there was also, uh, there were more jobs in um, medical assisting at the time than there were in pharmacy tech. Uh, there was, that you know, there was more opportunity uh, I had already worked for a hospital. I was a CNA working for a large hospital here. And they have doctor's offices throughout this area. So uh, if I had become a medical assistant, I could have just, you know, transferred from the hospital I was working at to a uh, doctor's office. You know, it would have been just a transfer and I would have started making more money than I was making as a CNA, a certified nursing assistant. So I would have gone that route Luckily, I didn't have to. Luckily, I did pass nursing school. Um, thankfully, I did. Um, but you've got to you've got to have it in the back of your mind. You've got to have that backup plan. What if I don't make it through this? What if you know? What if I can't pass the uh, the NCLEX? What's what? What happens then? You know. 
Um, there have been plenty of people do that as well. Um, you know, what What then? What do you do if you can't pass the NCLEX? Uh, what if you can't pass that final? What if you can't, you know, you've got to have it in the back of your mind. You've got to understand things happen and sometimes you can't finish. Um, so, like I said, my backup plan was to be a CMA. Thankfully, I didn't have to do that. But I still would have taken it. Um, I still would have done it. And I would not have complained about it. But, you know, everything turned out great for me, thankfully. But I, like I said, I did have it in the back of my mind. Um, hope it helps. Thank you much. We'll talk to you later.